Do you think it's acceptable for boys to most girls? I personally wouldn't, but it's upsetting if they want to. I haven't got anything against anyone that does. Nowadays, there are lots of advertisements on men's makeup and men's moisturisers. What are your views on them? Well, my views are pretty old fashioned on that. I mean, I feel that there's no. Th <coughs> there doesn't seem to be any difference between men and women. You know, this, it, it's, it's like everything's designed for. Um, I mean, I'm all, I'm all for equalities and stuff like that, but I think shaving and keeping yourself groomed and that and hair gel, fair enough, but when you're putting on the same stuff as women, it's, it cuts out, I don't know, I'm not saying it makes you more, less of a man, but I don't know, I, I'm a bit old-fashioned in that way, I've never used them. I'd use something like sunblock or... Or to, if you had to, uh, you know, to protect yourself from wind, fair enough, like lap, like chip, whatever it's called. I don't have lips all. I don't even know the names of them. I didn't even know they existed until you told me that there was makeup for men. But um, I would never use them. But I suppose everything's about money these days. So look, if there could money be made by the big companies, they'll make it. But I don't think men should wear makeup. Sorry. Do you think it's acceptable in today's society to be gay? It is accepted in today's society, but some people don't find it acceptable. I personally haven't got a problem with it, but it's a lot of people are entitled to their own views. And Thinking about when you were younger, have your views changed on homosexuality? Yeah, my views on, on homosexuality, they have changed because growing up it was very taboo and you uh, you didn't really get... You didn't really get, um, it was always name calling, there was always name puff, homo, it was always referred to even when you're playing football, if you didn't have a tackle you were a puff, blah blah blah. But it wasn't talked about by the teachers in any subject or anything, it was never mentioned throughout school. But as I say, it started to change I suppose when Boy George first came on the scene and when I was about... 18 I suppose you know you get and then you got you start going clubbing and you get to meet people and that sort of scene of when when that's goth gothic sort of scene came out and people and people dressing cross dressing so some of the clubs that you went to was full of a lot of gay people because they were the clubs that you could get in if you wore jeans and stuff like that because if you didn't have shirt and tie and you couldn't go to any clubs so you had to go to clubs which would let you in which were usually gay ones so and as you go through your working life i mean i've got a gay friend now at work and they've chat i mean i was probably a part of the clique that used to took call name call and whatever so my views have definitely changed from um, when i was growing up to what i am now i can see you straighten your hair how long does it take to get ready normally if I'm going out to work and things like that, it's normally about five or ten minutes. But if I'm going out, I'm out more of an effort. It's more, well, it's normally about half an hour. Can you tell me about the fashions you grew up with? Over the years, um, uh, there was... Firstly, when I was growing up, back in the early 70s, there was glam rock with lots of Bay City Rollers and sweet gaddy glitter. Um, later on, there was the big flary fashion flares, long hair, side pockets, big high heel shoes, even for the men. And then then the punk era came out in about 1977 when I was 12, which lasted a few years. I wasn't really a punk, I did dye my hair green. Uh, pierced my ears by myself, all my sisters did that for me. And then I had, then skinhead and two-tone came back into fashion and i was a skinhead for quite a few years i like that fashion i like the music ska reggae two-tone and then that sort of phased out and new romantics came back into into fashion or came into fashion the likes of duran duran and uh depeche mode but i wasn't really into that fashion and Never been into one really ever since, just various kinds of music. Um, and as I say, I've never really followed the fashion since Skinheads and Two Tone era. Could you tell me about your working life? I first left school in 1992 and went on to the, the YTS scheme, which was a youth, 
youth training youth training scheme which was a scheme to get young because a lot of unemployment when I first left school and the apprenticeships had sort of all been knocked on the head so they put you on schemes which that lasted for a year which was general building uh, got taken on by a local builder who then once he had to start paying the wages didn't want to do that so they usually just got another YTS in so they didn't have to pay the wages they were paid by the scheme by the government so and then I went into various factory jobs there wasn't any tire industry left so I actually diversified and went into forklift training from being a forklift driver training various people around the country I then I've also worked on the building I've from then I've done I did various temp jobs and eventually I started working for Birmingham City Council in the museums department training people on forklifts in there and then I became an office person working in the transportation department. The big difference with my working life is that I've had to change from physical and manual type work into into an office based job which is completely a different world as in most the majority of people are, are university degree educated and have masters and I've had to sort of use more working experience but I feel comfortable enough working with them because I've got a lot more life experience and actual hands on experience than they have and my actual uniform if you want to call that has had to change from being factory based down to wearing shirt and tie uh, suits to go to various meetings and quite high level as well representing Birmingham City Council as a as an, as an officer and it's quite a challenging role to start with as I say coming from an environment which is was predominantly male dominated uh, working working class people into majority of a mixed mixed working role and uh, as I say highly educated from from the university background which is a completely different world from what I was used to.